Operation. Before starting any operation, check the state of the lubrification equipment, carefully inspecting for dirt or clinches in the machine. Also check that the oil levels in the machine, transmission and cooling system are correct. Always read the manual before operating any machine. Adjust the steering column and driver's seat for extra comfort, and always fasten the seat belt while operating the vehicle. Make sure the brakes, switches, lights, horn and controls are in working condition. Also make sure the gear shift is in the neutral position. After starting the machine, allow it to warm up for 5 minutes in idle position and take note of the indicators on the display panel. If the oil pressure is not adequate within 10 seconds, check for any possible causes and then restart the engine again driving. Become familiar with the area in which you will be working around and watch for the movement of personnel. Keep the doors closed and do not allow anyone else to be in the cabin. Moving the machine. Make sure the parking brake is activated. Determine the direction of movement. Lift the frontal equipment and tilt it. Release the parking brake. Engage the desired gear and move on. Attention, do not lift the front of the machine to its maximum height when loading materials. The distance from the lowest point of articulation of the lift to the floor must be maintained between 40 and 60 centimeters for stability of the vehicle. Maneuvers. ZL50G's central pivot pins results in the front and rear frames to be not aligned. So avoid high-speed maneuvers or curved paths. Braking. Do not slow down or stop the unit using the emergency brake while moving. Do not stamp on or step on the brake pedal repeatedly. To stop the vehicle, put the gear shift selector in neutral position and apply the parking brake. Displacement. Determine the optimal speed based on the work environment. Remember to notify in advance the people involved in the operation on the route and method of operation, and always keep the equipment under your control. In case of uneven or slippery surface, slow down, be careful to brake and change direction. When the vision of the road is compromised or you have a narrow curve, reduce the motion and beep. The equipment has FOPS ROPS protection resources. This system has the ability to support its own weight of the machine in case of overturning. Do not reduce the turns during descents. When working on slopes, leave the equipment in front of approximately 30 centimeters from the ground. In an emergency, you can quickly put it on the floor, braking and preventing it from turning. Dig. When excavating, keep the front bucket to the ground and push it towards the material to be loaded. Pick and raise the bucket simultaneously. Attention, the equipment should be facing forward with the front and rear aligned. Parking. Select an even ground and lower the frontal equipment to the ground. Please remember to empty it before parking the vehicle. If you must park in a sloped area, the slope should be less than one-fifth. Place wedge on the front and rear of each tire to prevent the machine from moving. Remember to put a flag signal, signal light, or alarm. Trailer. Use cables with sufficient strength to withstand the force. Disconnect the front and rear axles by loosening the screws of hangers. Pin the docking cable in tow. Never stand between the vehicle and the towed equipment during this operation. 
Do not tow equipment over long distances. Instead, use a transportation service. Transport. ZL50G weighs about 11 tons when moving the vehicle to the machine for towing. Keep in mind of the maximum weight allowed. When transporting the equipment, watch out for the tie-down points marked in red on the four points of the machine. Wedge the front and rear tires to immobilize them. When transporting the equipment, follow the local traffic rules. Following these steps and taking all necessary precautions will allow the operation to be performed quickly and safely.